Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll see how to create this node that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. This is actually a remake that I did a while ago, but for this one we're gonna see how to make this node and save it as a PNG, which means that we can just take it and put it on, on top of any other image that we want and it will be snowy. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, first if you want to help support this channel, check out Envato Element and also the sponsor of this video. Envato Element is a must-have library for all creators out there. With a vast library of resources available in Envato Element, you can save time and effort and money. With their unlimited downloads of premium design and stock templates, including print templates, graphics, photos and intros for your video too, and also royalty free audio tracks. And to get all of these assets at once, you only need one subscription. So if Envato Elements is for you, you can get a 50% discount of an annual subscription. So instead of paying $33 for a monthly plan, you'll be paying only $16 and a half per month for an annual plan. You can check them out today using the link down in the video description. All right, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop. And then uh, let's go and open the image we'll be using, which is this one. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is to press D on our keyboard. And this will set uh, the colors back to default in case we have you have different colors uh, because we're gonna need black and white only. All right, after that, I will create a new layer by pressing this plus icon. And then I will fill it with black by pressing Alt backspace or Option backspace. And this will fill uh, our layer with black. All right, after that, I will go to filter, noise, and add noise. All right, for the amount, I will put 100% and uh, Gaussian in the distribution and monochromatic is checked and I'll press OK. All right, next, I'm gonna press X on my keyboard because I want white to be as a foreground color. You can just one click on this double arrow in here and this will flip between black and white and we want white to be in the foreground color. All right, I will go to filter and then I will go to filter gallery. All right, so in the sketch folder, open it and choose tone edges. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, for the image balance, I'm gonna put actually six and I will keep the smoothness set to 10 and 20 in the contrast and I'll press OK. All right, so as you can see, this will change our noise to these very tiny dots that we're going to use as uh, snow. All right, for, uh, for this one, we're not going to use the blending mode to actually make the whites appear. As you can see, if I change the blending mode to screen or lighten, you can see the white dots in here appearing. I'm going to show you another method, so let me uh, switch back to normal. We're going to actually uh, make this as a, a PNG or as an overlay texture that you can just take it and use it on any other image without having to change any blending mode to do that. Alright, so while I'm selecting this uh, layer 1 uh, in here, I'm going to double click on it and this will open the layer side dialog. And we're going to use the blend if to actually remove all the black and keep only the white dots that we can see in here. So to do that, we're going to use this layer in the blend if. I'm going to take this slider from the black and put it into the right. It's around 30 in here. And then I'm going to press Alt or Option. While I'm uh, pressing Alt or Option, I'm going to one click on this slider and as you can see, this will split it. And I will move it until 120. As you can see, this number changed to 120. So keep it like that and press OK. All right, so as you can see now, we have only the tiny dots in here. But there are some gray dots that you can see in here that we need to fill with white. So how are we going to do that? So to do that, I'm going to want to copy only these white dots that we have in here in a new layer. 
and to do that we need to create a new layer on top of this layer one so i will one click on this plus icon and this will create a new layer and while i'm selecting this layer two i'm gonna press control or command on my keyboard and select this layer one and we'll have these two layers selected now uh, in my keyboard i'm gonna press control or command alt or option and e so control alt e or command option e and this will create a new layer merged with only what we have in these two layers or actually in this layer one uh, but this shortcut it doesn't work alone you always need a new layer for it to work all right now i can just delete these two layers and uh, for me to fill these gray dots that we have in here i'm just going to use the layer style dialog again by double click on it and i will go to color overlay and i will choose white as my color and normal in here is set and as you can see if i press this preview you can see it will fill all the the dots that we were missing and i will press ok all right now we're gonna repeat the same thing that we did we're gonna make a new layer again and by pressing Control or command i will select this second layer and again i'm gonna press Control alt e or command option e and this will create a new layer on top and i can delete these two layers all right so let's name this one snow base and then uh, i'm gonna give it a little bit of blur because it's very edgy in here so i will go to filter blur and i will choose Gaussian blur and i will put 0.5 pixel radius in here and i will press ok all right now we're done with the, this snow base layer so we're gonna make a copy of it by pressing ctrl or command j and i will call this snow 2. all right now we need to make this uh, a little bit bigger so we can see it so i'm gonna press ctrl or command t and in this uh, weight and height as you can see i have this length so i'm gonna one click on one of them and i will put 300 percent and this will change the other one too because they are linked and i will one click on this check mark and as you can see now we're starting to see the tiny what's supposed to be snow all right now i will go to filter again and i will choose sharpen and i will choose unsharp mask all right for the amount i will put 500 percent and for the radius i will put 0.7 or 0.9 pixel radius so let's put 0.8 and uh, zero in the level of the threshold and i will press ok all right now we'll go back again to filter and this time i will go to distort and i will choose wave all right for uh, the wave make sure that the type sets to triangle and also the undefined area is set to repeated edges and for the number of uh, generators i will put 20 and uh, in the wavelength uh, in the minimum put 230 and uh, in the max 231 for the amplitude one in the minimum and three in the max and for the scaling 100 percent both of them but you know feel free to experiment with uh, these settings you might get a different result on the, or maybe better result than this one all right but for this tutorial i will uh, keep it like that and i will press ok and as you can see this will uh, change the direction of uh, the snow a little bit just to break that pattern all right now we need to make another copy of this snow tool layer but we're not going to use the control j method we're actually going to make a selection of uh, whatever we have in this new tool layer and copy it and put it in a new layer so to do that we're going to press ctrl or command a and this will make a selection of the whole canvas but i'm still selecting only this new tool layer so which means that if i copy this uh, this one it will only copy what we have in this new tool layer so let's press ctrl or command c and then i'm going to press ctrl or command j and this will take whatever we copied and put it in a new layer all right so let's name this snow 3 and then i'm gonna again press ctrl or command t and again i'm gonna put 300 percent to make it even bigger and one click on this check mark 
All right, now I'm gonna actually apply another wave for this. So let's go to filter, distort, and I will choose wave. All right, so I will keep everything set to the same and I will press OK. And again, this will change a little bit of direction and uh, to make it different. All right, now I'm gonna create a new copy of this node 3 layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J this time. And I will call this node 4. And again, I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command T. But this time I'm gonna put minus 200 for the length. And I will make sure that in the height is set to minus because sometimes it doesn't set, I don't know why. So make sure when you are putting minus in here, just double check for both of them to be minus, even if you have this linked, okay? So after I'm checked, I will one click on this check mark. And this will change the direction of the snow, as you can see. All right, now we need to make another, one last copy of this snow for layer. So we're gonna use this time the, the selection method. So I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command A on my keyboard. And this will select the canvas and I will make sure that I'm selecting the snow for layer. This is where I want to copy the information. So I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command C and I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it on a new layer. And I will call this snow 5. All right, so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, this one. So I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command T again. And this time I'm gonna put 200% just to make it a little bit bigger. And I will want to click on this check mark. All right, now we're gonna apply a little bit of blur for this one. So let's go to filter, blur, and I will choose box blur. The reason why I choose box blur instead of lens blur, because a lot of you were complaining about, about like uh, how lens blur is a little bit, uh, make your laptop or make your hardware sweat. And I feel you for that, so. Uh, you can use this lens blur, it will give a similar effect to the lens blur a little bit. So in the radius, I'm gonna put two or three pixel radius in here. So let's keep it three and I will press OK. All right, so now I will go back to the snow for layer. And I want to apply a little bit of sharpen on this one. So let's go to filter again and go to sharpen and choose unsharp mask. All right, so I will keep uh, 500 uh, in the amount, but for the radius, I will change it to one or two pixel radius. So let's put 1.5 and I will press OK. All right, so I think this looks good. I mean, if you want to add more snow, you can do that. You can experiment with different, you know, make it even bigger with the size or smaller. You can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter because it's snow, it's very random. So whatever you do, it will look good. But the reason for this tutorial is to show you how to actually make this as a, an overlay or as a PNG that you can use wherever you want. All right, so to do that, we're gonna actually merge everything together. But before uh, to merge everything together, uh, you can actually put it in a group. So you can go back and actually, let's say that you don't like this snow for layer placement, you can easily select it and, you know, change the placement of the snow, make it a little bit drop more. Or maybe if it's showing on uh, the face, you can remove it. As you can see in this snow three layer, you can see there is a, a little bit of snow in here. You can easily select it and remove it to be a little bit above for your picture. But I would keep it like that. So it's better to put everything in a group. So let's select the snow five layer. And by pressing shift, you can go down to snow base in here and one click on it. And this will select everything. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command G and this will put it in a group. And I would call this snow. All right, now uh, I'm gonna make a copy of this snow group by pressing Ctrl or Command J. And I will right click on this one and I will choose merge group. And this one we have it as a one layer as you can see. So let's keep it to snow. 
Let's change this copy and let me hide this no group in here. And now we only have it in one layer in here. All right, so let's go ahead and try it with another image. So let's go and open another image. So I will open this uh, Santa Claus image in here in a new tab and go back to the other tab and I will drag this snow layer in here and open it in here. And as you can see, we have the same snow apply without having to do any work, we only do it once. All right, so let's try it again with another image. So let's open this wolf image in a new tab. And again, go to the other tab and drag the snow layer. And I will just open it in here. And as you can see, we have the same snow in here set to give it this really nice effect, as you can see. And if you want to save the snow layer, you can just, you know, hide this background and this will leave you with only the, the snow layer visible. And to save it, you can save it as a PNG. So let's go to file, save as a copy because in this new Photoshop, you need to choose save as a copy. And you know, just change the, the type of the save. It's very important to change it to PNG. And you can call this Snow Overlay. And click Save. And OK. And let me make this visible again. And now if I go to my file, you can see I have the Snow Overlay in here. Save and I can use it whenever I want. All right, so that will be all. I hope that you enjoyed and you liked this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. If you tried this, make sure to let me know on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Uh, I would love to see what uh, you did. And don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.